All right, this is the end of the year review th number three. First one is a no calculator problem, so I wanted you to work on negatives and um, order of operation. So I should be doing a little bit of leave change opposite. And one right back here. Not very good negative signs. Then I'm going to be doing order of operation, so I'm looking at grouping symbols. That first thing is called a fraction bar or division bar, and it is a grouping symbol. So I do get the answer at the top, negative 24 plus negative 3. They're on the same team, so we add and use that same sign. It's negative 27. And then I'm dividing it by positive 3. That's one negative in that problem. So my answer is negative 9 on that part. I go on and try to do these grouping symbols. Nothing can be done. I scan for exponents. I don't have any. So we'll go on to multiplication division. That has one negative. So again, my answer is negative. Put the plus and back in between it. And on the back one, I have two negatives, a negative 2 and a negative 3, so that becomes a positive 6 because it's an even number of negatives. Now, get my teams together. My negative team has 27 on it, and my positive team has 6, so the negatives obviously win by 21. We subtract and use the sign of the larger absolute value. Number 2 is an algebraic equation. Um, we've done that a number of different ways. Uh, one way is the the way I like to start off my instruction on it, which is the rainbow method. So f was the variable. Somebody has already done the problem times 6 plus 5, and they got an answer of 28. That means we're not doing the problem. We're undoing it. So whatever they did, we have to undo. So when they added 5, we're going to have to subtract 5. When they took it times 6, we're going to have to divide by 6. And we change the order that it's done in as well. So make sure you hit equals on your calculator. So you're going to hit 28 minus 5. You're at 23. And then you're going to divide by 6. 23 divided by 6. Now remember that is two things on top of each other. So 23 divided by 6 goes in there three times with five remainders. That's three full times and five remainders out of 6. F equals 3 and 5, 6. Number three is a straightforward um, integer problem. Leave change opposite on minus because we don't do minus. Leave change opposite. I would get my teams together, so I have a 22 and a 56 that are on team positive. I make 78. So I have 107 on team negative that go to fight the, the what I say, 78 positives. And so now we are going to find the answer by subtracting and using the sign of the larger. So our answer is negative 29. Negative 29. Number four is addition of fractions. Remember, to be able to add and subtract fractions, you have to be in common denominator. Um, so I'm looking at fifths and eighths, and I know they match up at fortieths. So I'm going to be changing both of them to forty. So I have two fifths changing to fortieths. So that's times eight on the bottom and times eight on the top, and that becomes sixteen fortieths.